Hey, how's it going, everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Roll Shambo, connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And if this guy looks familiar to you, it might be because you saw my other video on the Orion Knives Solaris, a knife that David from Orion Knives was so generous enough to donate to the channel so that I could give it to you in a giveaway. And it broke my heart because when I got it and I played with it, I wanted to keep it, but it was not meant for me. It was meant for you. So today we're going to show the unboxing of this knife, a knife that I have been very, very anxious to get my hands on. And it dropped earlier this week on Monday. So we're going to go into that. However, before we do, we're going to highlight a comment at random from our previous video, a video on ranking the Cold Steel AD15. So as you might know, these random comments are random. YouTube can be brutal. Sometimes people just like to take the piss out of you in the comment section, but that's okay because we are fearless. And today's comment from that video is from Jeremy. Jeremy says the AD15 is a grail of mine. It took me two years to buy one. They were 220 at the time. Jeremy, it's such a great knife. I feel like everyone that collects knives should have one of these in their collection. And if you haven't seen my video where I rank and review this knife, I will go ahead and put it up there in the corner. Feel free to check it out. You can also find it on my channel in my rank and review playlist where I rank and review a lot of knives. So without further ado, it's time that we jump into the unboxing of the Scorpio because Guys, spoiler alert, it's a good one. All right, everybody, so I am super excited. You see, today is my birthday. Happy birthday, me. Another year down the drain. Just kidding, it's been a great year. But listen, I'm excited because it happens to be my birthday and I also happen to receive this from Orion Knight. After handling the Solaris, I knew, I knew I was going to want one, and I, I was waiting for the Scorpio to come out. There, there I go, letting the cat out of the bag. Inside this box is a Scorpio. Now, up until now, the Scorpio has only been seen at the most recent Blade Show. So, this is our first look at this. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I haven't looked at this in person yet. I have a feeling this is going to be one that you're going to want. Okay, And I'm just going to go ahead and get this going now here's the thing about unboxings is you only get one shot to actually open the box as you can tell that is the first one so this is my raw uncut reaction to this knife now inside this box is another box kind of a bit of a russian doll thing going on there man i listen i'm so ready for this this time around i didn't play around David from Orion Knives messaged me on Instagram. And he said, hey, you know, the Scorpion dropped today. I was like, voila. And then I dropped everything I was doing at work, went out and ordered it because I knew I was going to want it. Um, oh, hey, this action. Listen, the unboxing experience is real, okay? Uh, the last one was a magnetic clasp. You kind of open up like this. This one's kind of like a drawstring. Look at that. I like that. David, if you're watching, I dig this, man. For an unboxing experience, that's great. Now, before we get into it, uh, this, the card, it comes with a little card, shows you an exploded view of the Scorpio, how it's put together, what you can expect. And aside from that, it says, thank you for your support of Orion Knives. We will continue to strive to produce a product our family can be proud of, limited lifetime warranty. You know what? That's great can tell that Orion Knives is really, really upping their game when it comes to the quality of the unboxing and how they present the knives. And guys, yeah, I already know. Like, I listen, this right here, this is what I've been waiting for. Originally, when I reached out to David uh, with Orion Knives, it was because I wanted to see if he might have a prototype of this that I could review, that I could look at. And at the time, he, he had the Solaris, and he wasn't ready to release this. And then I heard the news on Instagram that it was coming out in July. And so, I you know, like I asked him about it. He said, nope, nope, not in July. Um, 
uh, there was a setback. And so now it's, now it's August. And then he reached out to me the other day and it was timing. I had an order out to Amazon for a couple other knives and I canceled it, got a refund and ordered this immediately. Zero time took place. Now, originally this was known as the mini Solaris, but as you're about to see, the design is quite different. Bang. I love that. This is a clip point, okay? I love how aggressive clip points look. And something that I noticed immediately is this crowned spine. That is just so awesome. Crowned spines offer a whole lot of extra comfort. And you know what's nice is that even though this is smaller than the Solaris, it's perfect for the hand. You can tell based on this that it was meant to be a user. It was meant to be carry friendly. And more so, check out the jimping placement. The jimping placement is right next to the tip, okay? That's going to be perfect for your draw cuts. Uh, like, I don't even need to test this. I'm not gonna destroy my mat. I already know this is perfect for that draw cut. Wow. And maybe it's just me, maybe this is just the, the honeymoon glow, but check out how reflective and shiny that pivot collar is. Wow. Now, a couple things that I think that he really nailed on this knife. Uh, this is my Carta. The Solaris came stock with G10. This is my Carta. Uh, my Carta feels good. And it looks like, you know, it it looks brand new. The, the, the chamfering, you have chamfering up here. So you could actually use this as kind of a pinch grip. Everything looks nicely polished. Titanium pocket clip, which by the way is reversible for you lefties out there. And guys, it's a button lock. Oh, so the Solaris that I unboxed, uh, I did have to loosen the pivot on it a little bit. And this one, not at all. That is very fall shut. Wow, I just failed that one. Not the nice fall, that's my fault. Bang. So look at that drops shut. Now you just saw me unbox this. So, you know, I actually haven't had a chance to look at this yet and we're looking at it together. Wow. Guys, that's impressive. Okay. Because it's one thing to get a fall shut action. It's completely different to get a fall shut action and then have zero blade play. That lockup is perfect. If you didn't know, this is running off of a multi row bearing system. And I can tell that it's perfectly, oh man, it's perfectly oiled. I love the micarta. Uh, I love the fact that it has this groove right there. I don't know why words are escaping me, but this is better than what I what I had imagined in my head. You know how much of a fan I, a fanboy I am of backspacers that protect the blade from getting damaged by crap in your pockets? Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? I know I sound like another YouTube channel when I say that, but would you look at that? It's a, oh man, backspacers. David, thank you. I can tell you really pulled out the stops. Um, I love the fact that that blood groove is there. I forget the, the term for that, but I'll just call it a blood groove because why not? It, everything is nicely well polished. You can tell that this is definitely a really awesome design. And yes, it's smaller. This is a 2.75 inch blade. Um, so it is decently smaller than the the Solaris, but check this out. I can fit, I can fit full a full grip on here. And if I really wanted more, look at that. I could put a lanyard on here, but I won't. I'm not going to besmirch the good name of this knife, which I have not figured out yet, uh, by putting a lanyard on there because I don't think that it would do it justice. I mean, I could, but there's no need because I get a full grip on here. Yes, this flipper tab right here does kind of tell you where that you where you have to put your fingers, but that's okay because it's where you should be putting your fingers anyways. I don't care that, that he's saying, yeah, you need to put your fingers there. I know that originally he was thinking of knocking down this and coming out with a flipperless version of the Solaris, but I'm glad that he kept it for this knife. This knife is a fidget monster. Look at this. Boom. Middle finger flick. No problem. Thumb stud. No problem. I want to do the whole button lock thing. No problem. And the issue that a lot of button locks have is that they don't really have a whole lot of detent strength. In this case, that's not an issue. Um, that is smooth. David, what did you do? You mad scientist, because that is smooth. I love that. 
This is a fidget monster already. It is hard, by the way, guys, because I'm trying not to bump my mic uh, while I play with this thing. But let's just get a nice close-up look there. Wow. This, listen, this choil, or excuse me, this jimping right here is perfect. I rarely see knife, ma uh, knife makers and designers put that there, but this puts you in direct control of what you do with that edge and that tip. And that blade shape is just super, super attractive to me. I'm falling in love. You did it. You win. I am, I am thoroughly glad that I canceled my other knives and ordered this because this is badass. Gosh. And like I said, it, it'd be one thing if, it'd be one thing if, you know, at the end of the day, it, you know, it didn't fit well in the hand. But like, guys, this is $85. This design is worth twice that much. My Cardiff, 14C28N blade, button lock, backspacer, lanyard hole, titanium pocket clip that doesn't make me want to kill myself. Okay, this is beautiful. And you can get it in other, you can get uh, other colors, uh, other colorway options that have, you know, different pivot collar, uh, different color, G, you know, G10 backspacer, so on and so forth, whatever you want. And right now he even has other uh, options available for the handle scales. He's got G10. There is one thing that I want. And I'm going to say this right now because I, I like the, the Micarta over the G10 for sure. But you know, I'm going to want metal handle scales. If there is a time when Orion Knives comes out with aluminum, or God forbid, titanium handle scales, I will buy it on the spot. It'll be a shut up and take my money moment, if you will, because that would just make this obscenely good. Um, I, I think that if you put you put aluminum handle scales on here, and this becomes a $150 knife easily, and I would buy this any day of the week. As it stands at $85, this is a better buy than the... 80, 20.5. I know, I know. I bag on that knife all the time. But listen, this is, for $85, this is a better knife than the Demco 80, 20.5 with Grivery and Oz 10A at almost twice the price. I said what I said. Feel free to disagree with me in the comment section. But guys, this is just me rambling at this point. This knife is beautiful. Uh, I love it. it. It feels great in the hands. And I'm going to suggest that you go out and you order one of these because if you wait, you will regret it. I have a feeling this is going to be hot, okay? There is not a single thing that I don't like about this knife. There are some things that I wish that it had. I wish it had metal handle scales. And I've already, I've already mentioned that to, uh, to David from, from uh, Orion Knives on the previous one on the Solaris. I, I said I wish it had metal handle scales. And he said I might do that. I just need to know if that's what people want. So if you agree with me, I have no idea if he's going to watch this video, but if you agree with me that aluminum handle scales would be an amazing upgrade for this, or God forbid titanium, ooh, pop in the comment section down below. And you know what? If you're stoked to see how I rank this knife once we finally get to the Rolls Blade Rank video of this, which will take place in three weeks. Remember, I don't do a ranking video until I've had a chance to have the knife for at least three weeks. I need to get out of the honeymoon phase, but guys, uh, this is going to be a good one. Brown spine. Excellent choice of jimping. Great blade shape. Backspacer, titanium pocket clip. Button lock. I don't know what to tell you. I'll link this in the description down below. And if you want one, I'd go get it because I don't expect them to last. 